So this is easily the best part of the game. Like, I don't know what it is, but the Academy of Evil? So good, man. Oh, I just remembered about Boiler Room Doom. Suddenly, I'm a lot less enthusiastic about this part of the game. God damn it. <laughs> it, it, it was funny as a kid. It's kind of still funny now, but knowing what lies ahead in Boiler Room Doom, I'm kind of sick of it already. In fact, can I, can I just leave? Can I go back the way I came? Is that allowed? Can I leave, please? Ugh, fuck's sake. The thing with this level is there's nothing to say. Everything's green, and a lot of it is just waiting around for these bloody platforms to spawn, and it's like, fuck. I, mean, I don't want to do this. The crystal is mine! Fucking shut up. Huh? What? How did Cortex die? What happened? Oh my god, this game. This level's just started and I'm already sick to death of it. Was it that cog thing? That what keeps happening? How is Cortex dying? I don't understand. I get that this game is a buggy mess. But, like, fuck. <laughs> What's happening? Okay. And was that what was causing me issues? We seem to still be alive, so I'm gonna go with yes. Fucking, oh, just let me on. You know what, I'm just gonna leave. I'm just gonna leave without Cortex. Bye. And he just came back. Well, that's pretty good. Why? I wish I would have known that before the... Forget it. I can't even put words together. The sewer fumes are getting to me. How are we going for Jet? Oh, I've got all of them. Wow. Okay, you know what? I'm feeling a little bit better about this level. Oh, are you serious? Fuck's sake. I have to do all that again? <sighs> Just as I was saying, I was feeling better about this level because I've got all the gems. I fucking die and have to do all of this spinning the blue valve shit again. <sighs> it's almost like the game is punishing me for being bad. I suppose from like a gameplay perspective and like... Just the actual attack patterns and what you have to do. This is probably the best fight in the game. But thematically, it is so dull. It is so boring to look at. And I got hit by that somehow. And I died. <sighs> if I get a game over and I have to do Boiler Room Doom all over again... Someone's getting fucking hurt. That wasn't fair. How? What was I supposed to do there? He was actively following me to a fucking... Oh. If I have to do that entire level again... Oh, thank God. I... I oh... I would have actually, like, killed someone. Whoa! Did you see that? I think I just did a cool slide trick there. That was kind of sick. I just did it again! Whoa, that's kind of... That's kind of nuts. I'm gonna, I'm gonna practice that after we're done with this level, because that... That was kind of cool, I've never seen that before. You can redirect your slide. 
Like you can slide in one direction. Oh no. Please don't make me do Boiler Room Doom again. Please don't make me do Boiler Room Doom again. Why did I come back out? Please don't make me do this again. Not, I swear to God, I'm not fucking doing that again. Please tell me I can still go into that other level. Okay, the door's still, oh, thank God. <laughs> I nearly shit myself then. A little bit of poo did come out, but thankfully it's all right. Anyway, as I was saying, you can like redirect your slide like you can start sliding in one direction and then start moving in another direction. Oh, look at that. That's kind of cool. Is that useful at any point in the game? I don't know. Maybe it's good for taking out multiple enemies? I don't know. Maybe the speedrunners do it. I've never seen a speedrun of this game, so I wouldn't know. I don't know, it's quite cool though. I like it. Classroom Chaos. Probably my favourite level in this game, because it's so cool. Like, just thematically, it's awesome. I mean, there's nothing special in terms of gameplay, but... You know, this whole game is nothing special in terms of gameplay, so it's fine. Now this, this is memorable. Like when I think about Crash Twin Sanity, this is what I think of. Is this rising acid bit here. Because it's just cool. I mean, it's been done to death. You know, what, what video game doesn't have a fucking acid rising section? Still, it's a good part of the level. And it makes the level dynamic. That's a good word, dynamic. Every fucking game reviewer and game critic says if something's dynamic that means it's good. I'm not sure what dynamic actually means but it seems to be a good thing. That on the other hand was not a good thing and I'm gonna refrain from doing that again. I always find it funny how when you die in a game and you have to repeat bits you've already done you get upset. Especially if it's a game you like. It's like god damn it I have to play more of this game that I like. <laughs> like, why are we upset? It's just more fun to be had. It's kind of weird, isn't it? Get back to the area. Make sure it's <laughs> I like how the invincibility is still going. Oh my god, look what is happening. Oh my Christ, what? Oh my god. <laughs> Alright, Cortex, let's fucking do it. Like, it wouldn't be, like, if they just removed these chase bits, I reckon, you know, Cortex's bit wouldn't be so bad. But because you have to sit through all this fucking chase shit, and it's not good, and it's not fun, and it's not even remotely enjoyable, it just sours the whole ex fucking experience. Like, look at that. You're trying to shoot to clear a route ahead, but you can't see, and you just blow yourself up. It's like, fuck. I'm trying to escape from these bugs. Oh, look at that well-hidden gem. God, how, how did I ever manage that? See, some of the gems in this game are really well-hidden, and, like, there's a good challenge. But then you have ones like that that are just in the way, and it's, like, it's harder to not get those gems than it is to get the gems. You know what I mean? Look at this. Isn't this just fun? I'm so glad that I get to do this in my Crash Bandicoot game. This is so cool. Look at this. Look at how much fun I'm having. Oh, I'm out of ammo. Oh, no. Oh, but it ended anyway, because fuck this game. <laughs> like, seriously, what is that? Who programmed that? Oh, and look at that well-hidden gem. Is that all of them? I got all of them. At least that makes me feel better about the whole thing. But God, that was painful. Can I just point out how massive this academy is? Like, it's the size of an entire city. That's huge. What kind of school needs to be that big? It's like the size of a small country. It's the size of Luxembourg. 
Oh my god. Did that seriously kill me? Oh my god. This game is some shit. <sighs> I'm getting real sick of these ant fuckers. These guys fuck ants. They're ant fuckers. Did you get it? I mean, if nothing else, this is a very creative chase level. Because who would think, oh, let's get chased by a bus, but the bus is actually tied to an airship and is being swung around. Well, that, that, that's, that's different. Because like Sonic Adventure 2, you've got the big truck and it's just driving. But here, the bus is actually like being flown. Well, that's cool. Where's Amberly? Pretty sure you can see her somewhere. In like her T-pose. Hmm. There she is. Is she T-posing? Gosh, she is massive. Like, Jesus Christ. You are in detention. I've been to detention exactly once. And it was because I threw a donut at a teacher. Um, which sounds like a really stupid thing to do. But I wasn't aiming for the teacher. I was aiming for another kid. And the kid moved and the teacher just happened to walk around the corner. So I accidentally hit her with the donut. Um, so yeah, that was fun. It was a fun time. A very fond school memory. Most of my school memories involve stealing from the stationery cupboard. Because that's what I would do. Every day on the way out from class, I would grab a handful of stationery and just, just take it home. So I've got a lot of pencils and glue sticks and pairs of scissors that technically belong to my old school. And um, they never found out it was me. So yeah. Those are my two favourite memories of school. Throwing a donut at a teacher and stealing from the stationery cupboard. Just goes to show the kind of school experience I had, I guess. Bye! No! Are you kidding? The thing moved right as I was going to stand and I'm back here. Fucking fuck. <laughs> God damn it. That wasn't meant to happen. Oh, for God's sake. Okay, we did it again. A second time for no reason. Well, there was a reason I fucking fell off. I hate that it does that. Why doesn't it just wait for you? The fucking prick. <laughs> right, so how many gems is that? Okay, so that's all six for this level. Miss two. Oh, that's Cavern Catastrophe. Hold on, where's Academy of Evil? There we go, six, six, six. Oh! We actually got all of them. Wow, that's pretty, I mean, I'm happy with that. I'm kind of blown away. I didn't think I'd be able to do that. That's kind of nuts. I'm, I'm actually genuinely, like, pleased. Ah, I feel good about that. Come now and we explore a, new a new dimension! But we ran out of time. Would have been two new dimensions, but we ran out of time. I love that. I love that they put that line in there. That's so funny. What I don't understand about that is, Cortex would have been doing that thinking that it was regular Crash. Why would he be hugging and stroking regular Crash's fur? I mean, maybe he's aware about how touch-starved Crash is, what with the wanting to lap dance Papu Papu, make out with Uka Uka, and uh, dive straight into Cortex's ass. Maybe Cortex acknowledged that and gave Crash what he wanted. Um... But yeah, it's kind of weird to think about. 